he's just a hack. He's just an absolute hack. And he gets his ass kicked by his teammates every week. It's just, you know, it's terrible. It's just terrible. Welcome back to another episode of the Believe in FCS Football Podcast. I'm Joe Dealio, joined by my former teammate, former roommate, Mr. Sean Anderson. Sean, we are in full, I don't want to say crisis mode, but we're definitely in, in Joe freak out mode where I got to get all my work done today. I got to get finished packing. I got to get to the airport and wake up at 3 a.m. tomorrow to get to North Carolina. It might be freak out mode a little bit, but I'm excited because you know what's happening this weekend, Sean? We've got we're, the trip. We're We've sneaking trip. booze into a stadium. <laughs> Yeah, can we talk about that for a second? Yeah, yeah. So there's some um, questions I, I arose yesterday to Joe and uh, J.A. Campbell himself. It was a very frantic phone call that I received yesterday. Well, it's just... You sounded concerned. I was doing my reading on Campbell University. I was trying to, you know, figure it out, see what they're about. And it's a very religious school claimed to be in the heart of the Bible Belt. So that means that South Dakota State was a little different. You could walk around with a case of beer and then you basically be encouraged. Be encouraged. Yeah. Whereas Campbell, it's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to have to do some, some, what I would call clever footwork to figure that out. Look, I, okay. So here, here's my take on this. And I said this to you last night when you called me later in the night. I think that so Rhode Island was a was a dry campus, but we still had tailgates. People still drank on campus. And I remember homecoming. We had a tailgate. Yeah. And I remember for like the basketball games, there were kids that would not get in trouble. But like the cops were like watching for people carrying booze and and such and all that crap. And they sold booze in the stadium, too. And I don't think that doesn't sound like that's the case at, at Campbell. I don't need to drink during the game. We just need to figure out if we show up and we try to bring a case of beer and we try to have a conversation with some people and we're going to do some some interactions for like content but i, I just i don't want to be um accosted for for just bringing bring uh some some beverages that's that's all all i'm going to say is and i don't and this is going to sound like a, a bad take and i i don't want to already anger the not anger but what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to put, get the Campbell fans on my bad side before we even show up. Sure. But if if it's really strict and like we're not allowed to drink and it, and that's removed from, from this equation, I don't want to regret not going to Montana State or Missouri State. That's all I'm going to say. Here, okay. I think that's a, I, and that's a, that's a fair that's a fair concern to it's have. It's fair. It's just a different environment. That's what the show is about. Every school in the FCS is different. Every school in the SEC is damn near the same. Okay. You could talk about uh, different, you know, Vanderbilt's not the same as Alabama, but it, if we're talking about, we're, you understand what I'm saying. Yes. So they won. I think our play, I think our play is to try to find a cornhole game. That is what our game, that's what our play should be. Did we? Yeah, we didn't try to find one last time. I just feel like that year. is a very easy in. I feel like yeah. you can kind of drink during cornhole or and figure that out and do that. Can we find like the, the church tailgate? I think that that actually might be like the reverse effect if we try, <laughs> if we try to get them having a good time. This is, uh, I mean, it's going to be an interesting trip. I uh, I did have a little bit of my Sean panic where I was double checking the tickets, double checking yeah. all the, the the hotel confirmation. It is confirmed. Not as much panic as Joe, obviously, but there is some additional. It's yeah, just, my, it's just mine's a different kind of panic because it's like, oh, I got to get all this stuff done, and then I got to get to the airport at three in the, three in the morning, and then I got to kind of like work while I'm traveling and stuff because, like, you know, I can't I can't take it. It's hard for me to take it like a full day off. Like I'm sure just, during the football season, it's it's. It's difficult. It's the reality of, of what I do, but I'm excited because like I want to go watch a football game. Uh, I want to enjoy watching the football game, and it sounds like we're going to have a fun time. I'm curious, and we got some recommendations, but like I wonder what the Friday night scene is like and if, if it lives up to what we what we encountered last year when we went to South Dakota State, and we had some very interesting interactions with um, a – diverse students. background of people that we North Dakota State fans, students, people yes. that weren't 
students. Like just we had a lot of very interesting interactions that night. There were some. Uh, Saturday night was the weirdest night of my life. Uh, and I think that it's going to be hard for Campbell to top that pizza place at South Dakota State. It's going to be hard for Campbell to top. Not in terms of quality, in terms of disturbing. The, all of it. All of it. Yeah. It, 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 we should be able to find a pizza joint there that is less weird, interdimensional, can't hear, can hear everything type situation. What if what if we're still in the pizza place and we just don't know it? Dude, don't even joke around with me <laughs> like that. Don't even, because we easily could be. I, I, for some reason, I remember everybody's faces in there super clearly. And that either means that they're angels or they're, you know, or they're the devil's, you know, uh, harbingers just waiting for us. So I remember everyone's face. I remember everything about the place. I remember all the, the weird board games and in, in the in the separate room, all of it. It's it's I, I don't but even want to the, go down that road. But thinking the, about that. the weirdest part about the pizza place is that worst terrible pizza. That's not the weird part. But the the weirdest part is that we were acknowledged that we were there, but at the same time. Actually, we weren't like we were there, but no one was was acknowledging that we were there. It was like yeah. everyone was so caught up in everything, but it wasn't even caught up. It's like we weren't there. That's the strangest thing, and I don't I don't think I can ever fully explain that to somebody without having been there. But it felt like we stepped into like an it NPC. It felt like you were a ghost. It felt like I was a ghost. It, it, it felt like we walked into a building in Grand Theft Auto, and all of the the people in the building just didn't didn't know that we were there because we didn't walk up to them in press X. Like that's what it felt like. I feel like we could have gone into that, into that establishment with nothing, with no underwear or pants on and nobody would have said anything. No, no. at all. So the, the question is, Sean is we need, they'll say to, something about that in Campbell. We need somebody to tell us where we can go. That is going to cause another existential crisis need, because I that dude, I don't need that. We're getting up <laughs> early on that on, is on, the, de- that is Sunday. the determination of a good trip is another existential crisis. Um, Sean, we got games. We got to talk about, we got two. We're going to preview. Uh, I have beef with you over FC estimates. We're going to get to that before we do. Can you tell our listeners about bet online? I would love to, because football is back in case you hadn't known Joe, Joe, did you know that bet online remains uh, your number one source for all of your football not. betting needs this season? I did not. Did you know, Joe? Did you know at Bet Online you f- you'll find the latest odds, matchup info, player news, and game trends? Uh, I did because I use Bet Online. Joe, Bet Online is your continued source for all your sports wagering information. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, live scores, and giveaways all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to get uh, to bet all your favorite sports and events like MLB, MM- MMA, tennis, boxing, and even golf. Head to BetOnline.ag and join uh, and receive your. This is a a disastrous sentence here. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive. We need to clean that up. Your 100% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, to receive your rewards. BetOnline, where the game starts. It's a true Ron Burgundy moment where you just, you're reading the prompter and good for you. for. Don't even think (laughs) if if, 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 we, no, I'm, I'm champ. If, if anything, in the in the Ron, Ron Burgundy. Well, universe. but my point is that you're just reading the reading the script. I understand your point. Knowing you ahead of time. Um, all right. So that's disrespectful. No, all you're right, brick, so dude. The two games, um, I'm flipping the order that these were written down. I want to talk. F- Actually, no. Ignore what I just said. Let's. I want to open up with talking about Campbell versus Charleston Southern. This is the game that we're going to be in attendance for. And Campbell's had a bit of an up and down start to the season. They have lost games against William and Mary. Uh, They have looked really dominant against the Citadel and uh, really good this past week against NC Central. The reason why it's been so up and down is that, you know, I kind of have this expectation to hope that they would be one of those ranked teams. And I think that they're getting there and they're close to getting there. The recruits are still piling in. They just got a four-star running back from Florida that is going to be joining this program next season, which is huge for the development of the team. But at the same time, this game, Sean, them playing Charleston Southern, this isn't the same Charleston Southern that we all know as FCS fans from five or so years ago that was a ranked team, a competitive team. They stink this year. I- I'm going to just be completely direct and honest. It's a, it's a bad season for them. And I know that they've played Georgia and they got 
absolutely dogged by Georgia, which is, you know, it is what it is. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait. That was last season. That is last season. NC State, they got NC, dogged by. This, yeah, NC yeah, State. Yeah. God damn it. Google sucks with, with <laughs> listing the games. They got dogged by NC State. And at the same time, they also lost to West Carolina, which is like a mediocre program. Eastern Kentucky is has been in and out of the rankings. They lost to them. They lost to Furman. They have not been good. Autry Denson's team has not looked good at all this year. And this is the perfect homecoming matchup to me, Sean. This is a perfect, you know, everybody's riled up and excited to be there. You're going to come from the wrestling match. You're going to come from the, the men's soccer game. And you're just going to be screaming your head off as they completely dismantle Charleston Southern. Look, this Campbell team, led by Mike Minter, has done a good job this year. William & Mary is not the slouch that they normally are. Uh, Eastern Carolina is not the slouch that they normally are. If we recall, week one, Eastern Carolina took NC State to the, 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 to the end. They, mm -hmm. they, they battled it out to the end. They should have won that game. They could have won that game. It, it, that, that's what made NC State frauds to me. That game, it is what it is. They're playing with some momentum right now. Their wins are very good wins. Their losses, not great losses, but they're still scoring points. They're not getting completely blown out. I, I mean, 49 to 10, you feel like that's a blowout? Maybe it is. Regardless, they're playing hard. And then the former NFL player to FCS coach trend, or former NFL coach to FCS coach trend, is bringing in talent that we just haven't seen before. Talent from other schools. You know why? Hey, I played in the NFL. Hey, you want to know how to get there? You come play with me. We see it with Dion. We Now we're seeing it with Minter. We're thinking, oh, how is this recruiting class so good? Well, they want to learn from somebody who's actually done it. Uh, so it, it, It's a very good formula for success, especially at this level. That's why I, I think that Campbell has a really good shot to make this a, a very fun, fun game. They could be up 21 uh, at halftime. Or we could get a shootout just because it's homecoming. We know odd things happen at homecoming. Uh, all the fans, the, the players can get a little too amped up. You're, you're ready to, you're just ready to go in front of a sold out stadium. I understand that. Uh, so just, just for Campbell, I guess who my rooting interest would be for. We try not to have many rooting interests. We have more rooting. Yeah, we're going there. We're, we have a rooting interest for we the sake of. We would be jackasses if we showed up with rooting for charleston southern we would be total dickheads well we're kind of total dickheads because i didn't know that we're not in the student whatever we'll make we'll find our way over there okay i mean uh i guess we're with the old heads i think the old heads are going to be more fun than the students it sounds like did, the students might you be... see brendan and then crack their helmet the other day yes and that made me really <laughs> it was how inevitable. hard did you have to be banging that thing i don't know i wonder if there's any hard hat wielding folks at campbell and i, <laughs> I kind of hope know. that there are uh, but I'm excited to get some gear. I'm excited for the environment, and I'm excited mm. to see Campbell put on. I want to see some thumping. That's what I want to see. Yeah, I, hell I yeah. I've seen some some thumping in a while. I, I went to a couple. We went to a couple games last year. It was good. I'm trying to see someone get laid out. I hope we get that. I'm also excited to see Haj Malik Williams in person. Who uh, we've mentioned a number of times, and it feels like we've been talking about him for multiple years. But the guy has made a lot of plays, and he's a fantastic athlete. And I think his, his career has been a little up and down, a little bit inconsistent. But I think this is like a perfect setting for him to pop off, have a huge game, uh, remind us of how talented he is. But he's like, he's like I think the big guy that I'm watching for is, is Hodge Malik Williams. Of course. Of course. All right. Sean, any remaining thoughts on that game? I feel like I capped it off pretty well. So I'm, okay. we'll just transition to the next one. Transition to the next one. Okay, so we've got a battle between... This is such a really odd game to talk about. Eastern it's Washington so and, and Weber State play this weekend. And Eastern Washington has been ranked this whole time, but they're one in three. And Weber State is getting the hype that we feel that Weber State usually gets, and they're four now, and it's justified. So here we are with these two like recognizable names and these two good teams. What do you what are you like rubbing your eyes yeah, for? I know before? where you're going. I know where you're going. I don't know, but it's on you. The all I'm all I was gonna say is it, it's very odd that we're sitting here talking about like wow like here's this big ranked on ranked matchup but at the same time it's like one team is has a bad record and the other team is undefeated like it's these just, teams are as good as each other that's that's the, that's how it is yes. these teams are as good as each other you know why because Weber State didn't have to play Oregon and Florida and Montana State back to back to back. They just did it. All right. 
Weber State hasn't really played anybody. They beat UC Davis 17 to 12. Best opponent they played. Best opponent they played last week. They won 17 to 12, which is what we know that Weber does. When they play a good opponent, they win by like one score in the teens. Eastern Washington is going to to press them and stretch them to their limits this game. They just will because Eastern Washington is sick of just getting paid to get beat up. All right? They, they, they're sick of it. And also, they're a good team because they took Montana State to the wire. Kind of. Kind of. They Okay, so here's one thing where I'm where I'm pushing back a little bit on. Push back. I'm, not push, I'm not pushing back on I necessarily, push back. but we got to give Weber State some props because – they beat UC Davis, but they also beat Utah State week one. Like, that's commendable that, that they have one of the FBS upsets so far this season. Your frozen face is, it was, was fantastic. Sorry, it was very distracting. Your eyes were like rolled back in your head. It was very, very weird. Um, they also have beef with the state of Utah because they beat Utah State and, and they also demolished Utah Tech. So they have two, not only victories over these teams, but like multi-score victories over a lot of these teams in that close win against UC Davis. I don't know, Sean. I'm kind of leaning Weber State in this one because as oh, much as I want to give you mind. as much as I want to give Eastern Washington credit, and I, I know that it like Gunnar Talkington is is fun to say, and he's put up some stupid, silly stats. He's got eleven that, touchdowns, three picks. And look, I I get I get that Weber State. Two of their wins are against Western Oregon and Utah Tech. It needs to be acknowledged that they beat Utah State and they beat UC Davis. Those are very, very important wins. And Josh Davis is looking like Josh Davis, man. I don't even, I don't know, man. He's a disappearing act. What? But he's been, okay, he's been in and out with injuries. And I feel like now that he's, it feels like he's healthy and somewhat, I just know someone's going to comment or DM me. Josh Davis tore his ACL last week. He's Josh out this Davis. week. He's out Josh, this week. What are you talking about? How dare you? How dare you say that Josh Davis? Why would you even pregame doing... this? Why would you even preview this game with Josh Davis? Out? <laughs> I'm actually going to look that up, but continue. <laughs> he's a disappearing act. Uh, he, he has, not just because he's a white running back, he has the Christian McCaffrey factor. He has the Naheem Hines factor, where if you play him in your fantasy, He's going to give you four points. If you bench him, he's going to give you 25. There was a great tweet I said that I saw today about Heinz. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what Josh Davis is. So I can't put my faith into Weber State. I just can't. Okay. I, I like that he's gotten 64 carries this year. That's good. Yeah. What is that? What is that per average? 60. What is that? Come on now. He's got three carries a game. 15 he's carries, got... about 15 gar- carries a game. Yes. He's actually not getting. So th- that's the interesting thing with Josh Davis. I wouldn't necessarily call him a disappearing act. He's got. There is inconsistency because he's got just Western, historically West, yes. Western Oregon, Utah Tech, the le- lesser important games. He only rushed about 50 yards in both those games. The more important ones against Utah State and UC Davis, he's toting the rock for 194. And he's not even get that many touches. Like the fact that it seems like maybe there's still some residual like, hey, we don't want to overwork you early in the season so that when the end of the season comes around, you're going to be primed and ready. And, and there's not going to be as many uh, dings on the, you know, on the Bentley. But I think that oh, that come, he's in hey, he's in full stride. This is gonna things on the Jeep Wrangler. Let's calm down <laughs> on, on the Bentley talk. He's a Bentley in terms of FCS running backs. Let's. What let's... are you talking about? He's not Isaiah Davis. That is the FCS Bentley. Not not. He's Josh the Davis. he's the Ferrari. I think that Josh Davis is up there in the conversation as one of the best. And he's been inconsistent because of injuries. Is my point. But like this is a game where he pops off, brother. This is a game where he has a really good game. And we talked about this with the Montana State game. And I I stupidly was like, oh, the uh, Eastern Washington's going to throw the ball all over the yard. Like Montana State's not going to be able to keep up with that. You know what Montana State freaking did? They, they came know. out and they did old school freaking 1990s football and they made my dumb ass look stupid by just time of possession running the ball down their throat. Yeah. And I'm fully confident that Weber State's going to do that shit in this game as well. I don't dude, I need to Weber State god, you're you're getting I'm not falling for it. I'm not getting the banana in the tailpipe. I know Weber State continually has a good front seven. Eastern Washington will spread them out. That's what they do. They're going to get they didn't their do it against Montana State, brother. They They're going to have to State. adapt or die. And I don't see Eastern Washington as a team that dies. Youngstown State, that is a team that is going that has not adapted and has died. 
failing. Is the second running back on this team who's got – wait, I cut out, didn't I? Yeah, just a little bit. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, give me give me one second. What is this? Coming out NBA. Why is this fucking frozen? Damn, we had – okay, all right, I think I'm good. Sean, we're also failing to acknowledge the backup running back that Weber State has with Damon Bankston, who has 265 yards so far this year and two touchdowns. So we've got a really good pairing of running backs here. It's two guys over 250 yards. That's 500 rushing yards in four games. That's a lot of yards. They, I don't, I am not afraid to say that they have the capacity, the capacite to run all over Eastern Washington and control that time of possession just like Montana State did. Fine. Then you pick them. You pick them in the FCS tomorrow. Okay. Go ahead. You pick them. I just don't be like, I didn't put my picks in. I just realized oh, that. I don't think I did either, actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're yeah. doing them on the fly. We're doing them on the fly. We'll, we'll do, do it. So. F it. We'll do it live. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Sean. We got to talk about FC estimates. Um, eat shit. You, I, I refuse to accept that this is real. I refuse to accept that this is real, that you beat me nine to seven this past week and you suddenly take that. It, it's so coincidental. It's so fucking coincidental that you know, you suddenly start winning these weeks when you're the one who's doing the math and I'm not available to do the math because I'm I've got other stuff going on. It's so coincidental. You know what? I'm a big winner. That's what I am. I torched you last week with Pretty a bitch. nine for ten. Nine for ten. What was Joe? Oh, seven for ten. Oh, teacher, could you raise my grade? Could you raise my grade? I only got a 70 and I saw Sean get a 90. You stink on ice, and your hubris has let me take the lead back. And guess what? I'm not giving it up. I'm not. Go screw. You cheated. I did not cheat. Go ahead. Look through the results. All right. Let's, let's pick these games, dipshit. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I'm being so mean. I, I, need, I need you to pick me up from the airport. Why am I being so mean? Um, <laughs> all right. First one. <sighs> Albany versus Monmouth. I am taking Monmouth. I'm taking Monmouth as well. Wofford versus Samford. I am taking Samford. Hey, easy now. Easy there. <laughs> Come on now. I'm also taking Samford. Interesting. Um, Jackson State versus Alabama State. You know, I, I'll take Jackson State. I think Alabama State will put up more of a fight in this game than folks are expecting just because Jackson State is so dominant. Uh, but I'm taking Jackson State. SIU versus most. Oh, I'm taking Jackson State as well. SIU, most state. I am. It's Missouri State, by the way. Most uh, state. <laughs> I am taking Southern Illinois. The Hex will return this week. Missouri State rallies. They come back off of their week stretch. They are going to beat Southern Illinois. Um, Stonebrook versus UNH. I will take UNH. Uh, Joe, did you see my my tweet about the foliage? No, I don't. I don't. I don't care about your thoughts of foliage. Well, I saw a, a beautiful picture of Vermont, and because New New, uh, New Hampshire is next to Vermont, uh, I, I had to put Vermont as my number one seed for foliage uh, in the fall time. Because screw Maine, and I know Tyler Cruz is working up in Maine. He did respond to me on Twitter. Uh, but all we ever heard about was Maine's foliage and this and that about Maine. And we took a six hour bus ride in the fall up there. And uh, and it was super disappointing. So just because we're talking about UNH, uh, I will put UNH in like the top 10 in the in the in the contiguous. Uh, Maine is trying to crack the top 30. We're about number one. Who gives a shit? Did you pick UNH? I picked UNH yes. as well. D Delaware versus William and Mary. Delaware. There was a whole lot of nothing. There was a whole lot of nothing you just gave me. Um, North Dakota versus Youngstown State. North Dakota. They're Dude, hot. You're 24 and you're talking about foliage. Fol leaves. Foliage. You're 24. You're, you're 24, 24 with, with a 50-year-old haircut and 80-year-old glasses. This is not a 50 this and, is and a, an 1800s little boy chin. Stop it. Nice, massive headphones. You don't look like an air traffic controller in those. <laughs> These were purchased by the audio engineers at Believe. Nice, too tight white t-shirt. 
do I need to nice mention what you about showed me? Do, lips. do I need to mention what you showed me at the beginning of the show? Where you you're you, showing you, me a receding hairline right now. You you flashed me at the beginning of the show. I, did not I don't flash need to, you. You didn't. Do I need to talk about the shorts that you're wearing that don't fit you? Your womanly facial bone structure. Uh, okay, eat shit. Um, you, yeah, you, North, you started. North, you, you wanted to get North rowdy. Dakota versus Youngstown State. This is North what happens Dakota, when I know that I have hot. to. I have to deal with you for a weekend. This is what happens. You took in your you took North Dakota, North Dakota. Uh, yes, Eastern yes. Washington versus Weber. Eastern Washington, take Weber, take him, you coward. Uh, I'm taking Weber because of everything that I talked about. Run the damn ball. Can we get some run the damn ball t-shirts for Weber? I think that they need the those. Um, I'm sure I, their t-shirt is like we believe or something like that. I, I bet that's their their slogan or t-shirt. See, I'd laugh at that, but. Our, our our company i understand I our understand. company motto is do you believe <laughs> we should make weber shirts that are we burr and then believe b-l-e-a-v we, we should do that we burr we, w-e dash b-e-r dash l-e-a-v yes we burr there's two people that'll buy them and there's the two people that are talking right now <laughs> <laughs> That actually, I wonder, I'm going to see how much time oh I can God. waste of my, I, I don't mean to, to distract from SCS estimates. I'm going to, I think once a week, I'm going to pitch to my boss whenever he's in the office. Us, like we should try like every sports team. We should try to shove the word believe into the, into <laughs> some type of <laughs> phrasing that's sure. related to the team and then sell a shirt for it. Like that needs to be the bit that that's how you, that's how you sell t-shirts. I got gotcha. you. I, I know how t-shirts are sold. Thank you. Can we finish FC okay. estimates? No. Abilene Christian versus SFA. Give me Stephen F. Austin and the Dustin Heltons of uh, Yeah, Stephen give me Austin. the fighting Dustin Heltons of uh, <laughs> Stephen F. Austin. <laughs> Illinois State versus Northern Iowa. I will take you and I. Yeah, give me you and I as well. All right. Uh, that's going to wrap us up, Sean. Any closing thoughts? Uh, Joe, you will have a clean car ready to pick you up tomorrow. Really? It will be washed. I am going to get it uh, vacuumed out. It will be clean. Oh, are you you're doing that all that just for me? Well, I don't want to hear any trash talk because my car is nicer than yours, uh, but I don't want it to be presented in presented in a in a poor fashion. So I, I just wanted to make sure you you were riding comfortably. And and by the way, you can put your hands on the outside of my car. Oh, I actually I just realized I haven't encountered this this car. I've only encountered the old car. Uh, yes. So this is the new car. So it sounds like you cleaned the car so it doesn't get aired when we tape our show and we get there. It sounds like you didn't want to get get shit on by me because well, you knew I would have brought the, that would have been the first you thing I brought, brought it up. up. You would have yeah. brought it up. Uh, but also, I'm not as crazy as you. Uh, so if you want to actually touch the radio or you want to touch something inside the car, you're allowed yeah. to. I've never not allowed you to touch things. Yes, you I, have. No, yes, the only have. things that no, 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 no. The only things that I've gotten mad at you for touching are taking your bare hand and putting it on the window, which you've done. no, not the window. Yes, not the you, window. You've closed the, the door. You've the closed car. the door with the hand with your hand on my window. I remember you doing it. Oh, you've that's also, a travesty. You've also taken your mitt. It, you get fingerprints on the window. Don't act like that. That doesn't look like that shit. is a travesty. You've bro. taken your 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 mitts and gotten them on the the outside of my car by like gripping the door, which is what you're referring to. Yeah, yeah. Hey, on there. hey. And then, I'm sure I'm sure that's that's you, worse. That's the outside of the car. You've also the worst one is that the monitor in the car that has like the navigation on it. You have fat fingered it and be like is this touch screen and then mashed it with your fingers and getting fingerprints all over it so that one's that one's justified hey, i think any don't have being, a touch screen if you don't want it to be touched but it, it, it wasn't touch screen. How, that I, that one wasn't touch screen my current you had, one's a, touch screen. You had a touch screen little scribble uh, oh uh, that uh, one that that you were allowed to touch i never i, had I obviously was not allowed to touch no it. i, I let you touch that. that you always you did not you always no, effed you around not. with it you I did always effed around with it yes you did you always have the no, you always no, mess no, around. No. With it. You used the fat finger, the t- the the the, the non touchscreen monitor that you thought was touchscreen. Joseph, I'm just letting you know that you're allowed to touch the outside of the car, including the windows, Can because I'm a... not a psychopath. Can I drink a beer in the car? When, sure. When okay. Can you make it? So can you make a stop at a convenience store and we can? Never mind. Um, yes. Okay. You can drink in the car. Thank you. 
at Joe DeLeon at Sanderson Radio. Hack City. I'm sorry, Campbell, that we're coming, but yeah, we're coming. Good luck. Yeah. Drive safe. <laughs>